Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another day of our summer reading club programming. Georgia, how are you today? I'm doing pretty great. Georgia. How are you, Tristan? Hanging in there. I'm crazy, crazy warm. It's over 30 degrees outside. So what better way to celebrate than to make some s'mores? What do you guys think? Woohoo! Right? So today we're going to be making some solar oven s'mores. So we're going to be using the sun and using our wonderful little DIY solar ovens here to make s'mores. So excited. So, what do we need for today's craft? Well, a pizza box. Exactly, it can be any pizza box. It can be from Pizza 73, Domino's, Papa John's. This is kind of the debate. I know everyone has their favorite pizza place, but it can be any box, no matter how big or small, so long as it's a pizza box. You're also going to need some glue, so you can grab a glue stick or a bottle of glue. Right, you're going to need some scissors and any writing utensil, pencil, pen, you're gonna need some plastic. What works best for this is going to be some plastic wrap, saran wrap, whatever you use that way. Um, however, if you don't have that, uh, you can do what we did and cut out a bit of a clear plastic bag. Exactly, surprisingly, we don't have cling wrap or plastic wrap here at the library. So we were surprised about that one. You're also gonna need some aluminum foil, often used for baking when you put stuff in the oven. So you can usually find it in and around the house. You're going to need some graham crackers to make your s'mores. Exactly. All our s'more stuff. So, perfect s'mores. I know everyone kind of has a different idea of s'mores, but usually graham crackers, chocolate, any chocolate will do. Our favorite's usually milk chocolate, so, yeah. And then, the best part, the marshmallows. Now that we've gone over the exciting snacks, we just need a piece of black paper. Exactly. Any construction paper will do. The important part is that it's black, and we'll explain why later. You can also grab some fun colors and utensils to make your pizza box shine. Exactly. Really, really make it your own. But enough with the supplies. Now we're actually going to get into how to make our ovens. So first, you're going to want to start with your pizza box. Georgia, what do we do with our pizza box? So with your pizza box, you're going to need parents for this step. You're going to want to cut out a little box out of the top of your pizza box so you can open it up. You can do this with scissors or an X-Acto knife, but kids, this is not something you can do. Ask your parents for help with this. Exactly. We just want to make sure you stay nice and safe. Don't cut off any limbs. We just want to be really, really careful. So now that you have your pizza box ready to go, opens kind of like a chest here, we are going to grab our black construction paper, just like so. And we're going to put some glue on the bottom of it, and then it will go at the bottom of our pizza box here. Now, the important thing to know, why are we using black construction paper? Well, that's because the color black absorbs the heat. So when we put it outside in the sun, it'll get really, really warm and absorb all those sun rays. Now, if we were using a light color, say white or a light blue, it would actually reflect the heat. So the heat wouldn't be absorbed by the paper. Now, this is really, really important when we see, say, we go outside and wear dark colors in the summer. We get really, really warm because all those dark colors are absorbing our heat. Whereas if we wear white outside, it's not as warm. This is why, and we're using it in our science experiment today. So we have our black piece of paper glued to the bottom. It doesn't need to cover the whole pizza box, just so long as you have a place where you can set your s'mores. Exactly. Now, next step, we are going to grab our foil wrap, just like so, our aluminum foil, and we are going to put it on the top of our pizza box here. Tristan, and why are we adding aluminum foil? Right. This will also work with our sun rays and reflect them to focus them towards our actual pizza oven here, which is really, really cool. As I think you can use the actual flap here to measure it out so you don't have too much. Just like so. And when you're using the aluminum foil or tin foil, whatever you call it, uh, you're going to want to make sure you have the shiny side facing out. Because if you see on tin foil, you've got this one very bright shiny piece and another that's 
bright, but it's not quite as reflective. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the bright is on the side that will be facing the sun. That's perfect. And for this part, you can fold it on, tape it on. I think we'll probably tape it on. We'll add some tape just to make sure it stays. All right, and it should look just like this. You see, nice and shiny with our black construction paper here in the middle. Now, what should we go and do from here, Georgia? I think we should decorate the box and make it nice and fun looking. What should we put on it? Ooh, all right. Uh, everyone knows I'm a big fan of glitter. Always will be, always have been. We just so happen to have some glitter glue, so why don't we glitter use that? Glitter glue. What should we put on our glitter glue on this? What do you say? You take one side, I take the other? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to add some stars to my side. Oh, I like it. I'm going to do some classic zigzags. Nice and simple. And if you even want to paint yours, feel free. Color it. Use markers, crayons. We are going to use some Sharpies after this to write on the lid. So Sharpies can work. You could get out pastels. I don't think chalk would work super well on our box, but there's tons of different things you can use. All right. Oh, I like your stars. Those look great. Thank you. All right. Are we ready? I think we're ready. What do you think? A little a bit of five fun? star pizza box. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know what we should add to the top? What's that? Let's close it a little bit. I think we should add CPL solar oven. Oh, perfect. Do you think we can do that in glitter glue? Oh, we can do anything in glitter glue. Easy. That's amazing. Let's do a big C. If this glue will open. There we go. C. That might actually C. be nicer than my real writing. <laughs> L. Love it. So, so we spell solar oven S O L A R O V E. It's hard to use glitter glue. It's hard to write with glitter glue. Then. There we go. Perfect. Maybe a little bit hard to see on your end, but it says CPL. Oh, and it's also mirrored. I'm sorry. It says CPL solar oven. Amazing. All right. So I think we're about ready to go outside and test it out. So what you'll need to bring on your way outside is, of course, your solar ovens here. You're going to need that plastic wrap or bag. You will also want some tape for the plastic wrap and everything you need for s'mores. So, just to refresh, you want your marshmallows. Jumbo, tiny, up to you. We love the jumbo ones, so that's the ones we grab. Your graham crackers, and whatever chocolate you would like with your s'mores. All right, everybody, see you see. out there. All right, everybody, we are outside, right in front of the library here on the lawn. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. So we are going to grab our pizza boxes for our next step, and we're gonna put on the plastic wrap. All right, so I'm going to put down some tape. There we go. And tape down that plastic wrap. Perfect. All right, so now we have our plastic wrap on, just like so, as you see. And why do we use the plastic wrap? Well, once we have our heat kind of directing the sun here, this is what will hold in the heat. Because now that it's going to be all caught up with our black construction paper here, we want to make sure that the heat doesn't escape. So that's why we have our plastic wrap. Now, the really, really fun part comes in, we get to add our s'mores! How many s'mores should we make, Tristan? Oh, two each. Easily. Two, two each. each. I know. All right. Ambitious. <laughs> Our s'mores are ready. So now we're going to close our solar ovens and they will start to bake. You will want to give it about an hour to an hour and a half outside here and it should be perfectly ready for you to eat. All right, everyone, our s'mores are ready, woohoo. So now comes the really, really fun part. 
we get to bite into it. Look at how gooey that is, holy. And the best part was, with how warm it is today, it only took about 20 minutes instead of the full hour, hour and a half for them to actually be ready. All right, so let's take a bite and see how good they are. Mmm. They are so good and so messy, my goodness. But if your s'mores aren't messy, then I didn't do it right. I'm a firm believer. So have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody. It was tons and tons of fun doing this with you all, and we'll see you all next time. <laughs> have a good one, everyone.